Ben Roberts Smith fronts up to receive a medal from King Charles despite court findings he took part in war crimes. Fallen military hero Ben Roberts Smith, who spectacularly failed to clear his name from war crime allegations, has received a special honor from King Charles III in a formal ceremony. Mr. Roberts Smith was seen attending the event at Western Australia's Government House on Thursday along with his parents to receive a King Charles III coronation medal, which the monarch decreed should go to all living Victoria Cross recipients. Despite receiving that honor Mr. Roberts Smith last June suffered a stunning loss in, in a marathon defamation trial where a federal court judge found that war crimes claims made against him by nine newspapers were substantially or contextually true. Those claims included that as an SAS commander, Mr. Robert Smith kicked an Afghan prisoner off a cliff in September 2012, ordered the execution of an amputee and was implicated in three other executions of unarmed prisoners. Mr. Roberts Smith was awarded the Victoria Cross for Australia, Australia's highest military honour, after his actions in the 2010 Battle of Tezek. He was seen outside the residence of WA Governor Chris Dawson on Thursday. Also in attendance was his father retired Major General and former Supreme Court Judge, Len Roberts Smith. It was unclear if Mr. Dawson was involved in the event and he has refused to answer questions about it. The Office of Governor General David Hurley, a former chief of the Defense Force, said in a statement that the decision to award medals was made by Buckingham Palace and did not involve Australia's royal representatives. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese also made clear on Saturday the decision to recognize Robert Smith was made by the King and not his government. This was the decision of the palace to give all Victoria Cross recipients a further award, he said in an interview with Weekend Today on Channel 9. There's ongoing legal action on these issues so given the government's engagement, it's important that there not be interference in that. But it certainly wasn't a government decision. Queensland Governor Jeanette Young tweeted a photo of herself with her state's recipients of the King Charles III Coronation Medal. She said the presentation was in keeping with His Majesty the King's wish for living Australian recipients of the Victoria Cross. Victoria Cross for Australia, George Cross and Cross of Valour to receive it. Nine newspapers cited an unnamed military official who said Mr. Robert Smith could decline or not receive the medal in person. In recognition of the controversy that now dogs him following the federal court loss last year. In that decision Justice Anthony Basenko ruled that all the claims made by nine newspapers and federal capital press that Roberts Smith insisted were defamatory are either substantially or contextually true. Justice Pasenko also found imputations related to domestic violence had contextual truth even though Mr. Roberts Smith's former mistress person 17's evidence was not sufficiently reliable to find an assault had occurred. However, the judge said the allegations, along with the contention that the ex-soldier was a hypocrite for posing as a DV campaigner, were contextually true. The judge found there was substantial truth in the claims Mr. Roberts Smith had pushed an innocent villager off a cliff in Darwin. In southern Afghanistan, then ordered his execution. There was also substantial truth Mr. Roberts Smith had shot dead an unarmed Afghan with a prosthetic leg and ordered a young soldier at the Taliban compound Whiskey 108 to shoot an innocent villager to blood the rookie. 
Mr. Robert Smith has appealed the findings, with hearings held in February and a judgment expected shortly. The incidents are believed to be currently under the microscope of the Department of Defence Commissioned Inspector General of the Australian Defence Force, IGAD, Afghanistan Inquiry. Known as the Brereton Report, it is probing allegations about possible breaches of the law of armed conflict by members of the Special Operations Task Group in Afghanistan from 2005 to 2016. So far one SAS soldier has been charged with war crimes. Australian Defence Force Chief Angus Taylor has recommended to Defence Minister Richard Marlis that a group of Special Forces commanders be stripped of their medals over the misconduct of the units. The failure of Mr. Robert Smith's defamation lawsuit intended to clear his name followed 110 days of explosive hearings and cost a total of $25 million. It has put his hopes for a return to the corporate world and as a motivational speaker in limbo. Costs were awarded against Mr. Robert Smith and he will be asked to pay for the very substantial legal bill of his victorious accusers. Nine Newspapers and Federal Capital Press As a Victoria Cross holder Mr. Robert Smith attended the coronation of King Charles III in 2022 despite objections from the Australian government. 